new product launches from Issei, a new total custom built reel from SLP, and Mega Bass delivers a new plus two version in a jerk bait. Plus, Jeff, it's Memorial Day weekend, yes. so we're having a store wide sale. Are you ready? Let's see it. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just wanna elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. What is up, my friends? I am Ben with The Hookup Tackle, the Tackle Otaku on Instagram, being joined by my buddy, Jeffrey the King. We are The Hookup Tackle How's USA. Going? What's up there, guy? Nice to see you, mate. Happy Sunday morning. No? Not so happy? Uh, you're mad well, you're up. I see that you're moving your hands in a gesture to offer me a beer. Yes. And I'm going to also decline that offer. It's a holiday weekend. Yeah. So even more reason not to drink. You never disappoint, Jeff. Absolutely. Cheers, my friends. At least I'm consistent. You think this is anybody's first time watching this video? Mm, there's probably at least five people. They clicked off. And they, oh, dude, it's done. They're done. Cheers, guys. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. We highlight new product drops, important restocks. We drink some beer. We talk some shit. We have a good time. It's basically a chance for us to invade your homes for a few minutes every Sunday morning and hang out. So cheers, my friends. I hope your weekend is going amazingly well. Hope you guys are having fun, catching fish, doing all the cool things you're supposed to do on an extended weekend. So cheers. Jeff, sure? Oh no. All right, well, let's talk about Memorial Day weekend for a second. So Memorial Day weekend was actually the grand opening of our first retail store back in 2008. So we started the hookup in 99. We opened our first retail store in 2008, had our grand opening on Memorial Day weekend. So Memorial Day weekend is always kind of like an anniversary for me, right? So every Memorial Day weekend, we do a store-wide sale, kind of in a, a customer appreciation sale, if you will. So we are running a 15% off store-wide. Uh, it's gonna go through the end of Monday. Normal exclusions apply, don't yell at me, it's brand requirements so you know companies like Mega Bass and Shimano and Daiwa and all the normal brands it's on it's on the ad if you are concerned they're gonna be excluded but everything else in the store is fair game and we can cover some of the highlights and things you guys want to look out for later in this video and I'll mention too if some of this stuff comes in stock if it's part of it so you know guys thank you for the business thank you for the support all these years we really appreciate it stock up grab some things maybe you've been thinking about trying it's a great time to do it all right brand new product from mega bass japan we've talked about the x nanahan and the x nanahan plus one now there is a brand new x nanahan plus two version now this is a smaller profile bait that is designed to move exactly like the original 110 so just spec it out 75 millimeters it's a quarter ounce okay but the plus two version is designed to get down below 10 feet. So in that 10 foot, 11 foot mark, pretty deep for a really small bait like this. Let me take one out. And by the way, they're in a bunch of colors, but there's a handful of new colors in this too. So I'm gonna show those to you guys. These are pretty dope. So this is GP Crystal Shad, by the way, which is not available in the regular x Hand or the x Hand Plus One, but it is available in the Plus Two. So you can see that it's a pretty big lip designed to dive quick, and then once it's down there, it's there. It does have the dual weight transfer system in it, so you're still gonna get a great cast, but really what makes this bait amazing, I know it's tiny, but it's got the same exact action as the original, so it's just a great downsizing tool, okay? So, 
Here you go, the GP Crystal Shad is the first one that's up. Of course, you're gonna see some colors return uh, like this one, GG Baby Perch, and some of the more staple colors, those are all in. This one is MG Vegetable. So I know it kind of looks like a I don't know, MG Vegetation Reactor, right? Um, so I'm not sure why we didn't just call it that, but instead it's MG Vegetable. So I think I like the Vegetation Reactor better, color-wise, or name-wise, I should say. Color looks exactly the same. All right, these two are pretty dope. This one is called GP Sparkle Viper. I'm just gonna open these up so you guys can see them. Okay, GP Sparkle Viper. It's a pretty sick one. So it's got kind of that crackle red on the back, uh, kind of the pink sides and then the red belly. Kind of a morning dawn almost look. So that one's that one. And then finally, this is gonna be a very popular one. This is JP Sculpin. Okay, so pretty dope, really nice kind of sculpinish looking type color. So, and again, it's available in all the normal colors as well. So the X Nanahan plus two, I don't know what availability is gonna be on these guys since it's brand new. So I would expect it's gonna be like most Mega Bass items. We've got, you know, a good supply now. They're probably gonna evaporate out of here and it's probably gonna be a while before we're able to get them back in. So if those speak to you or you want just a great deep diving uh, small profile bait, scoop them up now from Mega Bass. So Jeff and I were just talking and we were talking about that GP Crystal Shag because it, it just, it looks amazing, right? And, uh, and you know, there's just something really natural about this color. It's, it's basically almost like a GP Pro Blue, but with more of a greenish back. Uh, that is a color that comes from the 110 line as well. And it's, it's funny, it's one of those colors that flies under the radar a lot because it's overpowered by GP Pro Blue is some of those other colors. So if that color speaks to you, you're not familiar with it, you can scoop that up in a 110 as well. All right, Jeff, we've been talking about the new Super Z3 crankbait from Mega Bass. It seems like almost every week, right? Colors trickling back in. Uh, well, one of the colors that is, that has been very difficult to get is this guy. So we see a good supply of these arrive this week. They are gonna sell out right away. So if this speaks to you, I definitely get it. This is F.A. Shireo. So this is the one and only fine art color that they are doing in the Super Z3. And it is a very sexy fine art color. So it is the most natural bait fish pattern in the Z3 line. So again, Z3, if you're not familiar with it, is going to get down a true three meters. Uh, so you're, they're saying three to four meters even. So it's going to get down in that 15 foot zone. And now you've got a nice and natural bait fish pattern. So once these are gone, we will get them back at some point, but again, the fine art takes a really, really long time to make. So they're probably only gonna run it once a year or so. So I would definitely scoop both of these up that we just talked about. If you guys have been waiting, definitely scoop those up new from Mega Bass. All right, while we are on jerk baits, let's talk about some restocks really quick. Almost all of the core colors return in 110s, juniors. I'll just highlight a few. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on Gigi Trout OB. That's one of our best selling Japan colors. That is back this week from Mega Bass, along with other colors like Secret Grape, all the matte finishes, all that are back in the original 110. We also see a big restock in the uh, Junior Plus One. So if you've been waiting on any colors like Edo Clear Laker, uh, Northern Secret, anything like that, those will return this week as well. Also huge restock in pretty much all hard baits, but if you guys have been waiting on any like Deep X 200s, Deep X 300s, almost all the colors return in their crankbait line. Been selling these like crazy. It's just that time of the year. So you guys can scoop those up as well. And then also all the deep six colors return as well. So popular colors like MB Gizzard, Stain Reaction, uh, SB Shadow Crawl, all return this week from Mega Bass. And finally, while we are on restocks, uh, it's also getting to be top water season. Uh, so Return of all the poppers. So pop X's, pop maxes, and all the key colors like white butterfly, matte shad, all that return as well. And then we see another restock on these guys, albino pearl shad and white back shad in the eight inch mag draft. I don't know the ETA in the six inch mag draft. It's, I hope it's any day now, but the eight inches return. So if you guys have been waiting on those, you can scoop them up now. All right, Jeff, 
while we are on Mega Bass, we're gonna, we're gonna transition here in a very smooth way. So, no? yeah, have you heard of a guy named Griff? Um, Griff, the yeah. guy that says yes only? That guy. Yes. So you know that his favorite Mega Bass bait is a gong. Yes, it is right? his favorite. And you know that Mega Bass just has not been making gongs. No, they've been right? slacking. So there's been this huge void in the market and a need for gongs that kind of bait <laughs> right well what happens if you take that concept the your favorite concept i can tell by the way you're laughing oh Jeff. no okay you take that concept but you remove the monkey no that's the best part of no no, no. okay like let's say you want to be serious oh okay serious bass fishing time so you wanted to make it look cool yeah and you yeah. wanted to be handmade mm -hmm. in japan mm -hmm. just a beautiful precision gong Okay. Type. Yeah, talk to lure. me. Show me. Okay. I introduce to you from Rooms Plus. Okay. So we know. Oh, yeah, we've we known know Rooms. The Brain Knocker. What do you think? Um. Well, look. You know what? Let's let the gong yeah. expert give us his <laughs> thoughts on this. Can we? I introduce to you everyone, Griff. Yay! Get him, Griff! <laughs> Is there a lower setting on that? Fine, I'll go up a little more for hey, you. Hey, you want a beer, dude? No, I'm good, dude. Are you sure? Yeah. Bunch of fucking losers around here, Jeff. Uh, Not you, though, Griff. You're the man. <laughs> About to spit out my beer. Cut. <laughs> So funny, dude. is this replacing the gong for you, Mr. Griff? So this is not going to be a gong replacement. Okay. This will be a gong alternative. Mm. All right. So, you know, gongs are hard to get a hold of right now. But, I mean, the shape is right. The, the angle of the bill is right. The sound is right. This is going to get bit. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Ben kind of threw me off um, off my whole day yesterday bringing this thing out. <laughs> oh, it was a big day of teasing yesterday. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so it's, it's super dope. It definitely has a its unique own unique sound to it. it has a circuit board uh, back in here that this blade just rattles and bangs off of. So it's gonna have a little bit more clicking than plopping, but it's definitely gonna get bit. It's pretty sick. Uh, Are you gonna buy one? I have already bought some. Oh, oh yeah. that was fast as <laughs> hell. Are there any left for the good people? No. Yeah, oh. definitely. I'm gonna have some of these in my uh, in my tackle box. Looks like an eel that's been cut in half. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but... Do you know what color that is that you're holding? Uh, oh, it's got a weird name to it. It's Unagi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Eel. Eel. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unagi. <clears throat> yeah. Perfect. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty dope bait. It, it's almost the same exact weight as the Gong 2, probably in that half ounce range. Oh, I think it's heavier. Here, grab one of those things. Let's spec it out. 33 people grams. People going on now. 33 grams. Yeah. Yeah, so that's like wow. an ounce and a quarter yeah. almost. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it. It feels really light. Yeah. So, 75 millimeter, 33 grams. Uh, is it wood? I don't know what it is. I think it's like an ABS. Or not an ABS, like a foam. Mm. It's like a hand carved foam. Okay. Yeah. So, four yeah. colors. Yeah. Four colors. There's not many of these to go around. I feel like I feel like the price is right on these things. The price is crazy. Yeah. Look at Jeff's face. But the amount of fish that you're gonna catch on it, the price is definitely right. Can we talk about the price then? Sure. Yeah. Seventy five dollars. Uh you know, typical of a plus rooms bait. I mean it is what it is. Yeah. yeah I... it, everyone is handmade in Japan. <laughs> That poor guy's got to eat. Ben will fall victim on a 1v1 to this. It's not a monkey, but it's dope. But it's an eel. Yeah. It's even better. It's an eel. Okay. Good job, Griff. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you, guy. Four colors. Boom. Knock yourself out. Excellent segment.
All right, Jeff, let's talk about one of your favorite glide baits. Finally. We get a Dude. small <laughs> return. We haven't had these in here for years. I know. <laughs> so we should see. So all these brands are fighting their cycles, right? Very few Japanese brands own their own factory where they can just make whatever the fuck they want, right? And even the ones that do, because they make so many baits it's and everything's at max capacity, I mean... There's just no time, mm -hmm. right? So this is the problem, right? So, you know, they run one thing all month and then the next month they run another thing, so on and so forth, right? So we should see a huge resupply in Gancraft baits starting to trickle in early this summer. We see three new colors in the Joint of Claw 178, which I know is a size that you love. It's my favorite size. Yeah, it's a, it's a sick size. It gets bit pretty much everywhere, wouldn't oh you say? Oh my God, dude. They absolutely smash it and it's, you know, still light enough to where you don't need a dedicated swim bait rod or swim bait setup to throw it. It it has a unique glide, so it's not like your traditional like you know depths 175 or anything like that. It's more like an S curve when it kind of dives in and on on itself and like it just it just gets bit. The way that it darts, it just really acts like a little gizzard shad, a little shad, and I just think that the fish just chomp it so well. Yeah. So excited to get some of these back in. I'll, I'll be stoked when the whole color palette returns, but Kinakuni IU is now available in the 178. We have not had this color before in that. We also get a transparent version. So see-through Kinakuni IU in the 178. And then we also see see-through jaw IU. That one's so dirty. Yeah, so I'm a sucker for the see-through colors, but so there you go, three new colors in the Jointed Claw 178 from, from Gancraft. And you can take advantage uh, with these guys on the 15% off store-wide sale. I should have said that too about that rooms. That would be a huge discount huge. on the yeah. Brain Knocker, right? So, I mean, scoop them up. If you guys have been waiting, great time to grab them. We also see some new wire mesh circle hats arrive from Gancraft. So, you know, Gancraft makes probably once a year these kind of, I mean, this is perfect for like a holiday weekend, just lounging around boating. They're pretty cheap. They're kind of foam, you know, trucker style caps, but they've got the wire mesh logo on there. So there's a black and white, there is an all blue, there is an all black, and then Jeff, I know the color that you have been dying to have, the purple and the white. So here, you can just take that one. That's that's for you, guy. It's a gift. New from Gancraft. All right, new brand from Japan. Actually, this company has Ray been Japan. in Japan. Hey, just relax, um. okay? Time is coming for that, okay? <laughs> this is a new company called Rodeocraft. Now, they've actually been making a lot of salt water. They have a lot of friends, very connected. So they're gonna start collaborating with some of the more popular freshwater brands and start introducing baits and kind of just making little tweaks to existing baits under their brand, okay? So the first one I bring you from Rodeo Japan. This is a Rodeo Japan Depths collab. This is the RC flat back jig. Now these are gonna be available in three eighths and half ounce sizes. So the flat back jig is one of Depp's most popular jigs. And Rodeocraft worked with them to basically kind of just make a bigger, bulkier version, right? So the flat back jig is usually just a pretty standard jig. The Rodeo version is gonna have kind of these longer, moppier strands. There's some different colors that Depps isn't making, but they're making it just like Depps would. So you have the hand tied skirt, the same hook. This is a great jig for fishing around grass, for fishing around cover. You can use it as a pitching jig, a flipping jig, just kind of a swim jig. It's kind of that hybrid style jig. It's got all that kind of real soft here feel. It's kind of a, a blend of rubber mm. and silicone. So it's a little bit different feel. So even though it's silicone, you can see how soft it is, almost like a living rubber softness but made out of silicone. So pretty exciting. If you guys like throwing JDM jigs, this is gonna be right up your alley, right? So a bunch of colors in this, and again, three eighths and a half ounce sizes, new this week from Rodeo Japan. Now, on the soft bait side, they have decided to collaborate uh, and do some collabs with Rains Japan, okay? So these are all gonna be made in Japan, soft plastics by Rain. 
by Reigns. The first one is the RC Fat Stick. Okay, so this is going to be a Ned Rig slash kind of weightless stick bait. Uh, you could think of it kind of like a cover scat type, but more on a finesse level, right? So what's gonna make this different? This, this is a pretty dense, soft plastic. It has a triangular shape to it, okay? So instead of it being round, it's gonna be more of a triangle shape. So it's got three edges. It basically has this really nice kind of side to side, very natural kind of quiver to it. So if you guys are fishing on a Ned, it's gonna look beautiful if you're gonna fish it weightless. Uh, or Wacky or Nico, it's gonna have just a real tight little quiver on the back back there. Don't expect a lot of movement from this guy, but very precise, very subtle, definitely smells rainsy. Here you go, take a sniff, Jeff. A rainsy? Rainsy. I don't know what. That's a word. Yeah, it smells like ass. Yeah, that. Thank so you. there you go, available in a bunch of colors. That is the fat stick from Rodeo Craft. And then Jeff, the bait that you were dying to get. Is it purple too? Right? We could make it purple, I'm sure. I've seen some skills. Okay, so you remember the hairy dice, right? Oh no. How about a hairy bug? Ugh. The RC EB Chan. What was that? Ugh. That was that excitement? Well, pure excitement. The RC EB Chan. This is right up your alley. Goodbye, swim baits. A bug bait. Hello, E.B. Chans. Uh, I know that's what you're thinking. Oh, heavens. All right, so this is a heavier, soft plastic bait that can back glide. It can sink like a Senko. Uh, it's going to have basically uh, strands coming out of it. So it's going to be very buggy-like as it falls, as it moves through the water. Just one of those baits that just got, you know, a profile. Why are you laughing, Jeff? You laugh at everything that's cool. You realize that? This is the latest and greatest. This is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you thought it was going to be a swim bait or something? Mm -hmm. Dude, Japanese anglers don't even throw swim baits anymore. Oh. Yeah. DR or whatever? Mm -hmm. that, that shit's old. Oh. That shit's super bunk. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Bugs are the new deal. I've been noticing this yeah. trend. Bugs, crabs, right? It's Shrimp. Especially crabs. Right. <laughs> yeah. These are the deals. Hey, you wait. Okay. There's a crab coming. Okay, let's just enjoy the bug for a minute. So there you go. New from Rodeo Craft, the EB Chan. If you're like Jeff, you're gonna scoop up a bunch of these. Uh, and again, great time to take advantage of trying something new. Take advantage of the 15% off uh, while we're running this weekend. New this week. All right, new this week from Valley Hill. We've all been waiting on this product. Sometimes just a little tiny accessory, Jeff, makes a big impact, mm. right? In fact, before I get to the new one, let's talk about a big impact. What's funny about this one, this one sat forever yeah. until you started using it, yeah. and then we sold through everything and we had to beg them to make more. Yeah. Okay, so before we get to the new one, let's talk about the old one, the troubling line through pipe. Now this is a super dope concept. It is basically a clear plastic pipe that you can turn any swim bait into a line through. Okay, so it's available in two sizes, in a small and a large, so depending on what you wanna do, if you wanna take basically any paddle tail. Here, let's say you wanted to turn this little bait into a line through, right? You didn't wanna throw it on a, on a beast hook. You could take this dude, you can see when we open it up, it's designed to go in and never come out, mm. right? So it's got these reverse barbs, it's a whole tube. So very, very simply, you just take this guy, you open up whatever swim bait you want to make a line through, right? So you could do this with a Kitek, you could do this with a, a Spark Shad, basically anything. Uh, Griff, I'll admit it. Griff smoked my ass even doing a line through Magnum Beaver, you remember that? I Jeff? remember that. It was really stupid, but it worked. So basically, you guys can just insert this tube straight in and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go all the way in okay and you can go straight back out or you can do it at an angle if you go straight back out then you can just cut that bottom piece but now essentially you have a line through so you can run your line through the bait it's going to come out the bottom you can put a little treble hook and you have a line through swim bait 
So super dope concept. You guys can use it all kinds of things, but just a great way to turn a normal bait into a line through. Those are the trebling pipes. Those are back and again, two sizes, small and large. And again, they're cuttable. So, you know, you can go, go either route there. The new product is new from Valley Hill, and this is called the Bone Joint. Now this is actually a collab between Kaisu and Valley Hill. This is a soft plastic joint. Let me take one out so you can see it. And again, this is also going to be available in two sizes, so a small and a large, okay? So this is designed, you can see, it is basically flexible in the middle there, right? But then it kind of looks like a double-ended arrow, right? I know what you were thinking, Jeff. What was I thinking? I could see it in your eyes. So okay. what this is going to do is you can now take any bait, cut it, add in one of these bone joints, and you can turn something like a Sakamata Shad into a glide bait. So it can glide, it can walk, it can have more articulated movement. You can cut it twice, you can cut it three times. So you can put a hundred fucking cuts in this thing if you want to, but you can basically turn anything into an articulated bait now and it stays attached because of those reverse barbs. So just a super cool little accessory to give your baits just a little bit different look, something just slightly different than what everybody else is doing. So that is the new bone joint from Valley Hill. Those are available now. <laughs> All right, Jeff, <laughs> let's talk about Issei, one of our favorite brands from Japan. I know you're excited for another bug bait. Shizune Mushi, available now. Why are you throwing your hat? Come on, guy. You gotta expand your horizons. We love our bug baits. And you, I know, because you keep the mosquitoes in here. One mosquito, <laughs> three weeks ago, and you've been slapping your leg ever since. You would literally die in Minnesota or something. Check it. So basically kind of like a larva. It's basically like a Senko. So basically a Senko design, but in a bug shape, it's got these three little appendages. So it's basically just a very, very finesse kind of weightless type Senko bug. It's gonna have a real natural kind of quiver to it. It's gonna fall horizontally. It's gonna have the little movement. It's just a natural BFS spinning rod pond small, you know, bait presentation type thing. Available in a ton of colors. There you go, that is new from Issei. We also see a new bait, the Liar Minnow. So this is a bait that's actually been uh, out in Japan for quite some time, new this week here in the US. So the Liar Minnow returns. They haven't made this bait in a while. I'll open one up so you can kind of get a sense of it here. So the Liar Minnow is gonna be kind of like a very finesse kind of wedge tail type minnow profile. Uh, of course, like all the SA baits, they'll come with eyes. So if you want to put eyes in your bait and make it super realistic, you can. Uh, but you can see it's got this very, very natural, almost like a Huddleston type wedge type tail. Uh, it is articulated in the back, so it's gonna have just very, very natural movement to it. So you can rig this thing on a ball head. Uh, you can rig it on, as, a, as like a hover shot type bait. You could rig it weedless even, and it does have a uh, hook pocket in the back back there. So a lot of different things you can do with this, but basically uh, just super, super subtle. You drop shot it, right? It'd be great that way. It's just a very natural bait fish profile uh, look to it. Just to spec it out, they're three inches. They're gonna come, what, two, four, six, seven to a pack. So a lot of just real natural colors. That is the Liar Minnow, new from Issei. All right, and while we are on the Liar Minnow, uh, the Liar Minnow Flats also return this week and we see some new color additions. So this is basically taking from that same concept. We've had these before. Uh, this is the guy that you can use as is. It's got this really beautiful action to it, or you could even cut it off in the middle and make uh, just a real small bait of it. Uh, so if you guys have been waiting on any of those, the Liar Minnow Flats are also back from Issei. All right, another new addition for us. A lot of you guys have been asking us to bring these in. Uh, one of the most popular little paddle tails in Japan, the Issei Caramel Shad, is now available. So we got the four inch size in this week. We'll bring in the other sizes as well for you guys. 
Uh, but the caramel shad is just a very popular one to use. You can use it the way you use any paddle tail, really. Uh, but it's a very, very popular one to use as a swim jig trailer uh, because it's got that real wide body to it. It's got the extra kind of groove there in the middle. Also makes a great free rig bait. Uh, it's got that just a really nice natural fall, natural movement. So if you guys are looking for something just different, just to change up the action, this might be a great addition for you. I know a lot of you guys that uh, geek out on a lot of the assay stuff are gonna be stoked to see this in. So the Caramel Shad, available now. All right, Jeff, and then I promised you a crab. Oh, so okay. imagine a crab mm -hmm. and a crawdad yeah. banged. Oh, okay. Made a baby. Ooh. Right? And they named it. I expect a what lot do you of legs. Think, what do you think they would name it? Um, a crawdad and a crab? Yeah. The craw crab? Nope. Danny. Of course. Danny. Yeah, Danny. Danny. The brand new Issei Danny now available. Is that enough legs for you? Uh, yeah. I'd have seen I don't the think they could have squeezed another <laughs> fucking leg on this thing. So, this is a crazy bait. There you go. I mean, I've been watching a lot of the Japanese anglers use it. Free rig, of course. Uh, a lot of guys have been fishing it weightless just because there's so much like craziness going on. You could use it as a jig trailer. So it's it's a totally grooved, ribbed body. You've got 900,000 different appendages coming off it. Some are like almost like some kind of, I don't know, anal beads off the front. You've got some claw things on there, uh, some very quivery type, of, all kinds of cool stuff. So this thing's Great really- Great description. Yeah, I nailed that. I, that's, I, I actually plagiarized that right from the ESA, from the back of the package, okay? So there you go. I think it's gonna be really cool. Uh, it's 2.8 inches. So again, it's gonna be a real finesse option for you guys, but it's gonna be totally different. Ain't nobody else throwing a crab, crawdad, baby named Danny. Am I right? There you go. Available in tons of colors, new from ESA. While supplies last. Yeah. Seriously. Going to sell out. And then finally, while we are on Issei, we see a return of a bunch of the key colors that we've been waiting on on the Gill Flat Junior. So colors like bluegill, green pumpkin, uh, Ozgill, even the neon gill, which has been always one of our best selling colors, returns. So this is in the set. You're gonna get four to a set. You, it comes with the styrofoam. So if you wanna put the foam in the back, you can to float it up. Of course, eyes as always. So I think we've talked about it enough. It is the true original version of the knockoff that won the iCast award. So if you guys have been waiting, also you say is eligible for the 15% off uh, discount. So it's a great time to scoop up one of the hardest to find baits really in the world and try out some of these new items. So there you go, in stock from Say. All right, out of left field, Jeff, just to throw it up. I know we were looking at all this cool like JDM stuff. Right. I don't understand. Maybe the opposite? What is this? All right. Um, a lot of guys have been asking for this. You know we love frogs, right? right? So yeah. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because this is nothing new. I'm just letting you guys know that if you like snag-proof frogs, uh, Bobby's Perfect Frog is now available in store so you guys can scoop them up, okay? Enough said. It's a great frog. But What's one of go. the originals? Yeah, one of the originals, Barracks, a stud. Um, they're available now. Now. Back to some fun stuff. All right, a hook that flew out of here, it might even evaporate. Now, I don't know how many are gonna be left in stock, but the new owner Haymaker hook uh, are back in stock. We posted this on Instagram a couple days ago. They've been flying out. Uh, but this is the new kind of flipping pitching hook from owner. So all the sizes return. Uh, again, you, might, you guys might as well take advantage great time to save 15% off on all hooks, weights, terminal, that kind of stuff. So you can see just kind of a crazy shape here where the hook point is almost turned out. So it's designed to penetrate perfectly. Griff's been using these since they've been launched. You're a huge fan of the Haymaker, yeah? Love them. Yeah, so pretty much everybody that has purchased the Haymaker to give it a stab has come back and purchased a bunch. So if you guys are looking for just a great flipping hook, this could be the one you're waiting for. Also, we see a huge restock in the pink stuff, the Defire D-Braid. Now, we only see a return in the 15 pound, but that's okay. 
the main size I throw anyways, so you guys should scoop up while you can. So if you've been waiting on the Defire D-Braid from Sunline, this is a great time to scoop it up. And again, you'll get 15% off all the lines. So whether it's you know D-Braid or Sniper or Shooter, or whatever you guys throw, you might as well stock up. We also see a return, Jeff, super important size. 3.5 pounds is Jesus. back. I've been waiting for that. I know. You've been suffering between three and four. Yeah. Right? The three and a half is the so Three crucial. and a half returns, uh, as do all the sizes. So if you guys like throwing more of a camel fluorocarbon, the Sniper Invisible returns from Japan, all sizes, from three pound all the way to 20 pound, including bizarre half pound increments, three and a half, four and a half, right? So there you guys go. You can scoop that up back in stock from Sunline Japan. New from Daiwa Japan, okay? Which you've always been waiting for. Think of the greatest Daiwa products from Japan. You know what's weird? Yeah. Is you've been saying that like, you know, everything that I've been wanting, and yeah. then you show it, and yeah. it's never anything I've but ever wanted. But this is what you, I mean, just envision the greatest Daiwa Japan thing you can think of. Which is a right? that you'd be 300. No, dude, this is a mesh wallet. It's even better. You could throw out that bunk ass wallet you got carrying around. Get yourself a mesh one. Here's what's sick, Jeff. Medium and a large size. Boom. I see you scoping it. Here. You can hold the large. You want me to show you the large. So check it. You could put some cash in there. But really it's designed for baits. Okay? Designed to like hang lures. And it's got these little compartments. So you could hang your spoons, your uh, spinners, right? Like the medium size. <laughs> Oh, Jeff, you're killing me. All right, the medium size is definitely going to be more of a trout size. Or it could be a hook locker. All right, you put your hooks in there. Uh, the large size. There you go. So there you go. I don't know why we need these things, but it's kind of cool. I guess if you're shore fishing, you just need a place to store a bunch of stuff. You know, spoons can be a pain in the ass to to store. So there you go. Two new options, mesh wallets that Jeff can't stop laughing. Dude, you gotta get, you gotta let it go. You gotta let it go, guy. I'm glad that I could amuse you on this Sunday morning. All right, let's actually elevate this conversation just a touch. We're gonna start with Shimano. Okay? Shimano? Yes. Now, you know I'm not the biggest Shimano Stella fan. No, you're not. Have you, have you picked up on that drift? <laughs> Noticed a All few right. times. But the one spinning reel I've always been a huge fan of mm -hmm. in the Shimano line has been this guy. This is the Xsense 3000. So the brand new 2022 Xsense 3000 is finally here. I haven't even opened it yet. This is going to be the live unboxing. I hope they didn't fuck it up. You excited <clears throat> for this? Um, I don't know if you ever got to use the other ones. So here we go. Live on bot. Oh yeah, it's just as sexy as I remember it. So, the Exence designed for salt water. Hmm. But, it's one of the smoothest reels on the market. It's super sexy because it's a real shallow spool. So it weighs basically nothing. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. So, there you go, you get this beautiful kind of matte black finish. You get the shallow spool, so it's gonna be butter smooth and you don't need nine million yards of line uh, capacity in there to back it. It's just dope. So, you know, it's made in Japan. It's a combination of magnesium and CI4, so it doesn't weigh anything. There you go. So super light. I'll spec it out for you guys. All right, gear ratio is a 6.0 to one on this guy, okay? Uh, 20 pounds of drag, it weighs 6.3 ounces. So, pretty light. Uh, line capacity, 200 yards of a one go, right? Or in language you can understand, about 110 yards of eight pound floor, right? So, pretty, pretty dope. I think you guys are gonna be really excited about it. It's 11 CRBB bearings plus one roller bearing. So super smooth, beautiful. Uh, I don't expect them to last very long, so I would definitely scoop this dude up. So if you've been waiting, the new Xsense 3000 from Shimano, available now. Okay, and a new reel from SLP Works. So you know we love SLP Works. We love when they take a dial reel, super tune it, 
Uh, the last one we had was the SLP Ryoga. Mm -hmm. Right before that, we had the SLP Zillion, mm -hmm. right? This is a totally new reel. So usually they'll take a Dawa reel and make like an SLP version. This one, they completely did the reel themselves with all SLP parts. So this, sir, is the 2022 TR SVT Wing 105. Okay, so let's open her up. There you go. First look, now these will be available in a left hand and a right hand one gear ratio, seven one to one. So what SLP did is they took the frame of a Tatula, okay? But everything internal is SLP, okay? So they put the cast system, the gearing, the bearings, the spool, they built a custom spool for it. Uh, so you got this special shallow spool. You have this beautiful SLP carbon fiber handle with the core grips. There's four bearings in the handle, by the way. It's crazy, right? 11 bearings in the reel itself. So just to spec it out really quick, it's 195 grams. Uh, line capacity of this guy is 90 yards of 12 pound, okay? So what SLP wanted to do is they wanted to build a reel that could skip could accurately cast, could present really light baits or tight quarter baits better than any other reel on the market. Thus the reason for this. What I can tell you is it is crazy smooth. It's super sexy. Obviously they don't have that weird spider on it or any of that stuff. It's all matte black. Uh, it's all custom built from SLP here. Feel how smooth that dude is. I know it's lefty, it's weird. I don't know why I grabbed a lefty, but it is available in a righty and a lefty. Um, 399, so this is extremely limited. They are only gonna do one batch. So I wanna say there's only maybe 20 of each or 30 of each. Uh, so if this is a reel that speaks to you guys, it is definitely in a 100 size. So again, it's a 105, okay? So again, seven one to one gear ratio, 195 grams, 71 centimeters of line per pickup, which is what, about 30, 30 inches, something like that. Uh, and 11 bearings plus four in the handle. So I think it's super dope. I think they're gonna fly out of here. So definitely scoop those up if it speaks to you. The brand new 2022 TR SVT Wing 105 from SLP. All right, Jeff, let's fly through some rods real quick, some restocks and some new drops. So let's start right here. Uh, I posted this on Instagram a few days ago. This is the Daiwa Steez Spinning. This is the rod known as the one. It's a 7.6 mag medium light. It's an amazing one for throwing things like a hair jig or a sheer screw head, all that kind of stuff. A lot of you guys have been waiting for this rod to return. That returns. Loomis. We see a restock of the 873 CRR is the Carolina rig rod. Also makes a great kind of just running bank. Pitching rod, just a really universal rod. Those return. The 894 JWR, the all around jig rod for half ounce jigs, 5 8 ounce jigs. Those return as well. 7.5, just a brilliant jig rod. Those are back. A couple of new rods from Shimano. In fact, let me open these up so we can see them. I don't think we've had any of these yet. So, I don't know if you remember, Jeff, but Shimano uh, completely redid X-Pride and Zodius for 2022, and everybody's just been very patiently kind of waiting for the new ones to come. So, here is a look at the new Zodius. I think we might have even had a model or two of this come through, uh, but they've been flying out of here so long, I didn't even remember really what it looked like, but here's... Uh, the new addition. So this is the brand new full uh, carbon monocoque grip. This is the 7.5 medium heavy. So again, it's going to be a great kind of jig, multi-purpose jig and worm rod for uh, more open water, deep water. So that is in in the casting, and then the spinning. Which one did we get? We got the seven foot medium spin. So it's going to be your all around drop shot, all around finesse kind of spin rod. Uh, in the new Zodius. So if you guys have been waiting for those to come in, those are both available now. And then let's jump over to some Mega Bass rods real quick. We see a very, very small restock of a couple of key rods in the TS Destroyer line, okay? So this is a rod that everybody should stop and buy if you don't have one already. 
and that is the TS Destroyer Poker. So this is a rod I didn't even expect to get back in until fall, but we got a handful of units from Japan. Uh, this rod is 7.2 half ounce to three ounce lure rating, but really this rod is a brilliant frog rod. It's a, it, it can do great throwing something like a mag draft freestyle or weedless style swim bait. Uh, you can pitch, you can skip with it, but really as a frog rod, this is just the sickest frog rod ever. So what, what's your main frog rod? Poker. Mine's a, uh, a poker. What's your favorite one to use, Jeff? That one in your hand. So, I mean, if you guys are looking for kind of the ultimate frog rod, you're either going to go the the Steez uh, AGS, the 7.4 Extra Heavy, or the TS Destroyer Poker. One of those two is going to be the winner. So, if you're a Mega Best fan, this is the one to get. So, those return. We also see a return, again, just a handful of units. And this dude... And this has become one of our more popular ones uh, in the TS Destroyer line just because there's not very many parabolic options in these lines anymore. But I bring to you the TS Destroyer Casino. So 7.7, seven, 2 to 6 ounce, really designed. This is the most parabolic rod in the line. It really bends all the way through that mid section of the rod. So you can throw a glide bait on this, you can throw a big hard bait, you can throw things like a rat. Uh, big crank, any of that kind of stuff work great on the casino. They'll probably fly out of here, so if you guys have been waiting on them, now is the time to grab them back from Mega Best. All right, guys, let's just fly through really quick some, just brainstorm some ideas of what you guys can scoop up while we are having the store-wide sale. So obviously, we touched base on everything new that was in. I'm just gonna highlight a couple of key things that maybe you guys should look at and scoop up while we have inventory and while you can save 15%. So let's start with depths. This is a great time to scoop up. Uh, maybe you guys have been waiting on some slide swimmers. And crazy, we have slide swimmers, silent killers, cover scats, the hottest bait of the last two years. So all of those are available in most of the key colors. So great time to scoop up there. Our favorite glide bait of the spring, the Bait Sandy Explorer Gill. Uh, this would be a great time to scoop these up too. We have them both floating and sinking, most of the colors. We still have our the Hookup Sanity Derby running. It's still pretty wide open. Uh, I was tabulating some scores. It's really anybody's game. So even if you guys are just through ice, you're just kind of starting your fishing season, jump in. We still have a full month to go in the Derby. You can see all the details on the Explorer Guild page. Check it out. It's just a great way to have some fun and maybe make some killer money at the same time. So great time to scoop up that. Evergreen, of course, is available, so a great time to scoop up things like, you know, jackhammers, grass rippers, any of the JDM stuff, the soft plastics, the frogs, you guys can scoop all that up. Of course, you know, OSP, amazing that they let us discount it during these sales, so if you guys need beavers, sticks, hard baits, spinner baits, whatever, great time to scoop that up as well. All right, again, we talked about it earlier, great time to set up and grab some line. You can do bulk spools, filler spools, hooks, weights, Yamamoto stuff, I mean, everybody needs Senkos, right? Great time to grab that. All the bottom up stuff, whether you want the shrimps or the bob swimmers, uh, scooper frogs, any of that, you can save. You wanna try something big, right? Of course, we talked about slide swimmers, you can do the Gancraft, you can do all the madness stuff, manifold, all that stuff is available 15% off. If you guys are looking for rods, a couple of brands that you might wanna take a look at, iRod is available during the sale. So they make a huge line of rods, anywhere from 150 to 250. So a great chance to scoop those up. Of course, you could do Valley Hill rods as well. So one of the few JDM rods that, that are gonna be part of the discount. Of course, you can do the Gancraft Killers rods also, which are super, super sexy. So it'd be a great chance to grab those. And of course, Miller rods are available as well. So again, a huge, huge lineup there. And then one of our favorites in store, the Evergreen Combat Sticks, also available. Pretty much everything's in stock, I think, now, too, on the Combat Sticks. So if you guys have been waiting on, like, the wake bait rod, the jackhammer rod, and the spinning rods, they're all available, and you can get them at the discount. All right, guys, that is a wrap for me. Jeff, cheers. Last chance for a beer. Oh, no. You're done. Oh, dude, You're over it. I'm You're so just going to enjoy your right day. Now? I can see that in your eyes. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. 
Guys, if you guys have any questions, drop it down below in the comments. I will definitely get to it. Jeff will leave links to the products. Enjoy your weekend, guys. I hope you're out fishing. I hope you are doing something really fun with the family, just enjoying your time. When you guys wake up tomorrow morning, let's all just take a minute and remember what this weekend is about. If you are a military veteran, uh, thank you so much for your service. Thank you, Griff. Thank you for your service. Cheers to you. Uh, let's remember what makes this country so amazing, the sacrifice that has brought us to this point and allows us to hang out and do things that we love. So, you know, God bless America. Cheers, my friends. Have an amazing weekend. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace, my friends.